Doesn't this look fun? If you want to do this, you have to wear your mask, social distance, and wash your hands. This doesn't look fun. You don't want to end up in a hospital or on a ventilator. Which is why you should follow social distancing guidelines. So what you should do is wear your mask, social distance, and wash your hands and stay home. Hey guys, I'm Brayden and you're watching The Morning Marshall. This week, it's Spirit Week. Today is Hawaiian Day, and although I'm not wearing a Hawaiian shirt, this is a little bit more crazy, but you get the idea. Tomorrow is Jersey Day, Thursday is USA Day, and Friday is PJ Day. And this week, teachers are doing a hallway decorating contest, and the winning hallway will get ice cream. We have huge news from our basketball teams. Case and Connor and Zion Harmon are your KABC Region 1 Players of the Year. The honor makes Case a candidate for Miss Kentucky Basketball, and Zion is a candidate for Mr. Kentucky Basketball. A virtual ceremony to name the Mr. and Mrs. Kentucky Basketball player will be held April 18th. Congrats to the track team for a successful meet. During the meet, Kiefer Court, Will Davis, Samuel Lanham, and Ethan McCarty broke the 4x800 indoor record. Here's what Coach Johnson had to say. We came out at Louisville, and I'm certainly proud of the guys for what they did. It's been a year since most of them have been on the track, and uh, they were just hungry, and they were ready to go out and do something, and they proved it to everybody. Um, they went out and they showed up. So I'm just proud of them, and I hope we keep doing that from here on out. MCHS freshman Macy West has been selected to be on the USA Archery Team. Here's what Macy had to say about the honor. Shoot ASA, S3DA, and then I just got invited to shoot USA. So I will go, after I shoot at this camp, then I'll be invited to shoot for USA's oh, Junior Olympic Team, which will take me all over the country and even like internationally. So then eventually, I can try out and be on the real Olympic team for the United States. Listen up seniors, if you haven't gotten your picture taken yet, you need to fill out a form to get your picture retaken on March 17th and on March 18th. Congratulations Jackson Boone. Jackson Boone recently won the state competition in the American Legion High School Oratory Contest. Unfortunately, the national competition was canceled, so he won't be able to advance, but he did win a scholarship. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations to Miss Moorhead students for passing their phlebotomy certifications. Here's a list of everyone who received these and also more on what Miss Moorhead had to say and what this means for her students. They all have to work really hard to get to that point. Um, with this certification, they are eligible to become hired as phlebotomy techs uh, out in the in the real world you know to actually have that career coming out of high school to either um, continue throughout their life or to use it to base further education on and help support themselves while they're getting that. Parker has some questions for MCHS. Let's see what our students and staff have to say. Hey guys today we're going around and just asking random people a bunch of random questions. Hope you enjoy. Quit talking. Not really. I gotta interview Chris Carrick. Is cereal a soup? Why or why not? No, it's not a soup. Why? Because it's not sugary and fun-filled flavors with fun names and colorful cartoon characters on the box. Thank you, that's all. Hey, Talon, why does your mom not love you? Uh, probably because I'm ugly. Fair, fair. What's the funniest joke you know about heart? Uh, I can't say it in What's school. What's the funniest joke you know about heart? Can't say it in school. Second funniest joke you know about heart? I'll send you it through TikTok. That's, no, yeah. just, I don't care enough. No, like, no. It's really funny. no. It's like, What's the funniest joke? It's, I don't care. I just need to know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What's the funniest joke you know about heart? <laughs> Hold on. Where does the general keep his armies? Where? In his sleeveys. 
I didn't even, I don't even get that. <laughs> That's the funniest joke you know about hard, Demar. The funniest joke? Don't grab the talk. What? What's what are you talking about? Funny, funniest joke you know about heart. What do you mean? Funniest joke you know no. about heart. About heart? You know by heart. Today's lunch will be buffalo chicken sliders or mini corn dogs with broccoli and pears. Who is behind the MCHS greenhouse? Ms. Jordan Griffith is one of the ag teachers. Her greenhouse technology class manages and tends to the school's greenhouse. Here's a progress update on the plants. Uh, this is greenhouse technology that we have in here right now. So this class actually raises an entire greenhouse crop from uh, we start getting plants in the second week of January. We get them in as very tiny plugs. Uh, around the end of January to mid-February, we are planting seeds for all of our uh, vegetable crops as well as our herbs that we do. Uh, we do some other types of propagation, divisions, cuttings, things like that uh, on our plants. And then we raise everything for a spring sale uh, that begins at the end of March for our uh, classmates, uh, families, as well as school employees. And then we open up to the public the Monday after uh, spring break. Hey seniors, honor graduate pictures are today. A time was scheduled for the pictures to be taken. Please make sure you show up to your pictures at your scheduled time. Coronavirus has put a restriction on many things that we were looking forward to, including the musical that was planned for last year. However, we are happy to give students the opportunity to be a part of another musical. We sat down with Miss Vinson, the drama teacher here at the high school, and she talked about the progress of choosing their first play since quarantine, and talked about the students taking charge to create something awesome. Take a look. Actually, we had um, <laughs> we had students that there was a lot of student input. So students came and they gave us suggestions, and then from those suggestions, we went in, we did surveys. Um, our kids chose this. Um, it, it really had nothing to do with me. It was it was completely student led. Opening night will be on May sixth, but there will be also be more performances on the seventh and eighth. Be sure to check out. The Little Women Musical. Seniors, do you have some music you would like to dance to at prom? <laughs> you can have an opportunity to submit songs to the Senior Prom Playlist. Make sure your songs are school appropriate and be sure to submit them by March 19th. Well, that's all for today. This has been Braden, and you've been watching The Morning Marshall.